Hi, my name is Marcello Minova and I would like to give you a comparison between Alphabet and Amazon. Which is the best to invest in? First of all, we have to analyze the relative wealth chart. Alphabet, as we can see from the CFRY chart, is less sensitive to the economic cycle and shows a low CFRY volatility compared to Amazon. Moreover, Alphabet asset growth never destroyed value during history, while Amazon increased investments even in period characterized by CFRI decreasing or under the cost of capital. Total shareholder return, which is above the average for each one of the two companies, reflect for both Alphabet and Amazon the trend of CFRI and asset growth over time. Now we must analyze how the CFRI is composed. Alphabet shows a margin strategy, so a high added value business characterized by a weak volatility in the short period, but substantially stable in the long period. On the other hand, Amazon, which is a retailer, has a turnover strategy that is clearly influenced by the life cycle. Will the company be able to reverse the trend? As is easily predictable, both asset turns for Alphabet and margin for Amazon are substantially low and stable. Let's now analyze the comparison between the market price and the warranted one. Over time, Alphabet market price and the warranted price tend to converge with some growth of the market price to reach the old one. So now, after a short period of distance, it is likely that prices will converge again. On the other hand, the Amazon market price tends, over the time, to show a dramatic fall to converge to the warranted one. So it is likely that during the next two years, market price will fall again, not dramatically, but only reaching a price near to 890. To conclude, it is useful to examine the two companies' scores. All the alphabet scores are good, and all the items included in valuation are expected to be higher than the market provision. So, even watching the AV EBITDA multiple that is low for a higher deep value company, the recommendation is strong buy. On the other hand, despite the good operational quality, Amazon has a low momentum and a very low valuation, with an overall percentile of only 31. So, an optimistic scenario with a price over the market one is difficult to obtain. All these aspects added to excessive via vita make the recommendation sell or neutral. Thanks for the attention.